our entryway closet was a big, overcrowded, unorganized mess. Time for a makeover. The first step was to empty the closet. I sorted everything into piles for things to keep, things to sell, things to donate, and trash to throw away. It actually felt really good to get rid of most of that stuff that we never used and had just dumped in here. Metal shelves like these are shockingly easy to pop out of the brackets and then the brackets just unscrew directly from the wall. It takes a little while to unscrew all those little plastic things, but it's not hard in the least. Fill your holes with spackle. I like to come in from multiple directions to really get deep in the hole. Let it dry and then sand it completely until it is smooth to the touch. We gave the whole space a fresh coat of paint just to cover up the holes that we had spackled and just to give it a fresh start. We cut wooden boards to use as the shelving and connected the shapes using Craig pocket holes and screws. You can visit the link in the description for our full blog post with the exact details on the size of the lumber and how we cut it. Special shout out to our little assistant and yes, I am in the closet hiding back there holding up this piece of wood y'all. We nailed slats directly onto the wall to add additional support on that side. Sean repeated this process to add a second lower shelf and then a top shelf. He was really a trooper. He continued doing this project even while I was taking Instagram stories at the back of his head and Luke was crawling all over him. What else is new around here? We added wooden dowels and support pieces to serve as a hanging spot for coats. Sean also built these simple little wooden hooks, one for the door to hold hats and one inside the closet to hold the broom and Swiffer. I just love how this closet upgrade turned out. It is so much more organized and so much more beautiful to see right when you walk inside our home. If you have a messy closet, go ahead, get on it already and make it over this weekend. For more information on this project and other DIYs, visit charlestoncrafted.com.